just come down the plot. Can't do much, can hardly walk. It's got one crutch, but uh, it's the way it is, I'm afraid. But, oh, it just needs to get down here. Yes, certainly did. So, well. Ooh, everything's looks worse for wear now, doesn't it? This time of the year. I've not been down here for a fortnight. Yeah, I couldn't do anything. Beth has come down, had a look round for them, make sure everything's uh, all right. But uh, she got enough to do on her own plot. She can't really do much on mine, especially with just getting another half a plot. She's busy, but. Greenhouses, let's see what temperature's gone to. Ooh, minus 0 0.1 it's gone to since I reset it. I'll reset that again before I um, go. There's me, uh, some broad beans coming up well in there. Chilies have all finished now, really. I'd say I'd be clearing them out, but I just can't do it at the moment. Just have to leave it, see what happens. Me, um, cacti are all tucked up snug in there there's my um, lemon tree I, I just hope it's going to survive this winter these are strawberry cuttings I took early on in the year they'll be alright when, when I weed them so there'll be new strawberry plants to put in uh, that's where they go well as you can see I don't really see my daps are starting to break through yeah, I'm going to take this metal uh, part down this year. Uh, it's, it's at it now, you can see it's fallen to bits, so that needs replacing. I, I, I'll make it with wood. Here's where my uh, lilies were, my dark purple lilies. Like I said, there's my daffs just starting to come through. Uh, the lilies have died back. Normally I'd clear all that, but anyway, I'll see what happens. I'll have to leave, I can't do it. Let's have a walk down, see what we can what we can see. I've had uh, the broccoli, which was just over there, I don't know if you can see it. So me walking over, I'll try and zoom in. Yeah, I've cut most of the heads off them now, so. Yeah. The uh, broad bean uh, support has fallen. Ah, oh, another couple of weeks, you'll be all right. You won't grow that much in between, I hope not, anyway. Still some carrots in there. Unfortunately, <laughs> some of them carrots, they had carrot fly. Uh, I've never been uh, that successful with them in the, in the ground. I normally put them in, in the bins. I don't know if you can see the bins. Over there, I normally have them in the bins over there, which, uh, as we all know, carrot fly doesn't go about a f a over a foot. So um, the grace in the bins, but uh, I just thought I'd give them a go again in the ground. But they did get uh, carrot fly, unfortunately. The onions are coming on well. You can see them from over there. And there's my garlic next to my uh, broad beans. Yep, definitely didn't like that. My hydrangea. <laughs> so I'll die back, it'll be all right. It'll come up great here next year, I know it will. And that's a Boston ivory, by the way. Yeah, I think you've seen it before when I've, uh, I've shown it on other, other videos. It changes colour, uh, all, all green leaves, and then it goes to, ooh, like an auburn sort of leaf. It's absolutely lovely. But uh, it covered up my sign, Goodison, uh, just in the autumn. It's my toilet, by the way. I hope no other Tonyans take offence, just a bit of, a bit of fun. Cut 
pack me daisies, my little must daisies, they're all cut right back now. I've done that before my legs, my leg went on me. And luckily, I pruned most of my trees as well. Yeah, so that was done. <coughs> my wildlife area, I've got plenty of uh, places for the, um, the wildlife to go in down here, really. And my little pond, daft's just starting to come up around us. I love it in the spring when they all show, when they show through. Uh, being a heating engineer or plumber, whichever way you want to call me, I have plenty of uh, them bins which I use. Yeah, so uh, I've retired now, so I've got no more, unfortunately. So, yeah, but there's where I do my carrots. I've just got to empty them out this year and uh, restock them up. Oh, I've just noticed it. Oh, one of my bit. Oh, no. So one of my bins is split. Oh no, it hasn't split. No, it's. I thought it should split there, but it hasn't. So where my rhubarb is, and my comfrey is. Now normally this time, this is what I'm doing. I'm normally uh, wood chipping all these paths, tidying up down here, getting all this ready. But uh, this year, I'm going to struggle. I really am going to struggle. Anyway, fed up a moaning. <laughs> You'd be saying not happy unless you're moaning. So, that's a little tour, 1st of January, 2024. Can't wait for the spring to come. More so, this legs are bloody heel and then I can get bloody something done. Well, I'll sign off for my little tour now. Maybe have a chat later on. Hi everybody, 1st of January 2024, it's here, the new year. Uh, I'm hoping to be a little bit more proactive this year, uh, putting videos up. Uh, I've been pretty lackadaisical <coughs> over the last couple of years, where I haven't done as much as what I used to do a good few years ago. But I want to get back into it now, so, um, so this is the first start of the year, so need to start off with wishing everybody a happy new year and a prosperous 2024. Uh, let's hope the weather's kind to us this year. It wasn't bad last year. I didn't do too too bad on my crops, to be honest with you. But um, overall, not brilliant, but not too bad. While I'm down here, I've decided to go through, through my seeds. I uh, can't do much else. I can't do anything apart from sit down and stagger around. And I'm very lucky having Bethan. Uh, incidentally, Bethan's got a channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, she's only two plots up for me. She's my partner, basically. And uh, I'm, I'm on what's called plot seven. She's on plot five, so there's only one plot between us. Uh, but she's been very good over the Christmas period. Helped me a lot and brought me down to... I can't even drive. I find frustrating. Uh, so she's uh, agreed to bring me down, brought me down, so... I'm able to do this, so what I thought I'd do is have a look at my seeds. Now, you see me buy them in uh, uh, Dobbins, I think it was, on a uh, Friday, whatever day it was. I can't remember now. See how I mean? I, it, because I'm doing nothing, I can't even remember the days. I am so bored, believe me. I just can't believe I, I don't know how people sit around all day and do nothing because, I mean, if they can't, they can't. But, uh, oh, I'm so used to getting up, going, doing things myself, making things, but the moment I can't so I've just got to be patient and wait for this to heal up so as I said what I'm going to do in the meantime while I'm sitting down here Bethan's on her plot doing a little bit of work which she was like it was like trying to hold her back to be honest with you uh, but she's uh, she's she's down there now doing this so as I say back to the seeds I've got boxes and boxes now a lot of these are way out of date so I'm just going to go through them one at a time ones I want to keep I'm going to keep ones I don't I'll just obviously throw away, uh, or even give them away if, there's, if, the, if the dates are all right, but I'll see, I'll go through them all. Well, there'll be quite uh, a few, throw them quite a lot out there on the floor. I can't even bend forward to get the camera to show you, I'll show you after. But uh, I, I've got some B2 for next, next year, Detroit. Uh, I've got some peppers, cayenne peppers. So I've got them. Um, 
I've got broccoli. These are all the ones that are in dates. I'm getting rid of the ones that are out of dates. I know sometimes you can use them, but I'm going to buy. So I've got broccoli there. I've got uh, more broccoli. That's more. That's okay. I've got leaf lettuce. That's in dates. And I've got parsnips. Now I know parsnips. You've got to be very careful with parsnips. But it's on the back here. It's not been opened yet. And it says, so by 2025. So I'll keep them. Uh, whatever that is, I'll keep that as well. I can't pronounce the name. So I'll keep that. Uh, I've got some mixed, mixed headed, Oh, the, the lettuce headed mix that says on it. So they're all right for another year. I've got my own beans, runner beans. They're all right. I'll, I'll put them back in that box. Two lots of runner beans which I've kept over the year. And some, uh, or three lots of runner beans in there. So that's okay. I've got radish. Let's have a look at these. Oh, these are. I've got dwarf French beans as well. But these are, uh, these radish, one of these, uh, no, they're, they're well out of date, so they can go. I, I try to get fresh and just mess around to be honest. With you. So at the moment, that's all my veg uh, in that little box here, sealed up. I'll put that back in the greenhouse out the way. I have got quite a mixture of sweet peas here. Yeah, a lot of them have got holes in the packets. I think the mice have been at them, but I'm not going to throw them away. So I'm going to put them all in here. I'll just mix them and whatever comes out, comes out basically. So I'll put them all in this, uh, this bowl here. See how many's we've got a few in here, I can tell you. I, I think these are these are my own these, what, what, what I've saved. So there's some there. Uh, I've also got I've had a few packets here. What have I done with them now? I don't even know what they're there they are here. Uh, sweet peas, painted lady, and just as I say, all the packets are broken open. So I'll just mix them all in. Pot luck. I'll come. These are for the allotment, by the way, anyway, so uh, it, they're not for home. Uh, another packet, what, which ones are these called? Old Spice Mixed. Day two, yeah, December 25, you see, so there's plenty in there. So I'll put all them in there. I'll give them a good mix up, so uh, it's pot luck what comes up. Ooh there is plenty at the bottom there. One of these blue velvet, these are. These, yeah, 2024, so I was going to say they're out of date, but not. This is this year, so that's not bad, is it? Put them in there. And what's this in here? Oh, gladioli. Oh, so that, that's, I'll put that one side. But there's that many in the bottom of this, in the bottom of this here. I'm going to just tip it in and put it in that packet. It is full. At the bottom, a lot of them have been my own from last year, but as I said, I'm going to keep them, mix them in, give them a good shake. So I don't know which ones are going to be which, but as I say, I hope I'll have a good display this year of uh, sweet peas. So that's them now out the way. I've got a nice little selection of flower seeds here. Morning Glory, Campandula, Calendula, whatever it's called. Um, Poppy, Candy Tough, just another one here, Forget Me Not. So I've got quite a selection of, of uh, flower seeds there. So. And while I'm being here uh, talking to you, well, as you've seen, Bethan's dropped in for a cup of tea. Uh, so what have, you, what have you been up to? What have you been doing? I've been, um, I've just borrowed three loads of chippings down to my. Um, the bottom of the plot because I'm like making like a path mm -hmm. in between two beds yeah. so I've just been doing that mm -hmm. this is your second plot isn't it yeah Bethany's just taken over a second plot but it was uh, hers originally it was all one plot but when she had a few problems a few years ago she couldn't manage the full plot so she halved it and put it back on the list but since then she put herself back on the list and got the other half of her plot back after uh, the people that had it were actually um, were given a dirty plot notice because they weren't looking after it enough, so they weren't doing enough on, on the plot. So Bethan's taken it back on again, and she's, uh, you, well, you just got to be full Christmas, didn't you, basically? Mm. 
and you know, you're just having a process of tightening it all up, which, one good thing, you've got an extra big shed, haven't you? Because mm. <laughs> there's a nice big shed left on this plot. Yeah, so yeah, she's made up with that. If you want to have a look, hop over to my channel, Busy Beth Ann's Allotment Plot. Yeah, and yeah. you can chart the progress of me reclaiming the site and over the coming months, years. Yeah. Well, Beth has been on this site now for about, how many years? Is it 20, 30? Oh, over 20. Uh, uh, over 20 years. I first years. got it when my son started school. Mm. And he's 31 now. Mm. So 26 years. Mm. Mm. And she's also on the committee. And incidentally, I'm the uh, site secretary down here. Uh, so there's a lot to do. Uh, I was also chairman of the uh, uh, Allotments Association, but I was getting too involved. There was too, too much doing site secretary and chairman. So we've handed that over to somebody else now. And I said, I'm still on the uh, committee, but I take a back seat, basically. Uh, and we, we do quite a bit down here, don't we? Yeah. Where we have Twice a year, we have what's called working parties, where we get as many... We, Sometimes we can be quite disappointed how many people do turn up because having said that, it's called a working party to look after the site, uh, to look after the paths which everybody uses. But we seem to just get the same people time and time again helping and then the ones that just don't even bother. But they're all prepared to use the paths, complain about things. But if they all mucked in, you know, it'd make a massive difference on, on the working party. Because uh, I think there's 40 sites down here, so there's 40 odd people <laughs> on the actual site. We average about 12 to 15 people uh, on the working parts. We every twice a year. We get a trailer off the uh, council, which helps us get rid of some of the rubbish. They, they take that away for us. Uh, and we just generally tidy the, uh, the place up. Two, we've had two new people uh, take on plots last year, and they're on the committee. And they're really enthusiastic, really so we're good. hoping to really, because after COVID, things seem to die a death um, down here, but they seem to be like kick-starting us all again, and we're hopefully going to arrange more yeah. um, events down here, barbecues, um, seed swaps, and who can grow the largest pumpkin, that sort of thing. It's just a bit of, bit of fun and bringing us all together as like a little community. And uh, going on about uh, the couple, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the husband, Charlie, he's, uh, we've made him chairman now of the, uh, of the committee because he's very good. He's also, he's worked on a farm, so he knows machinery. So he looks after our uh, uh, petzl mowers and the... Uh, Strimmers. And, yeah. and uh, what the other thing's called? Rotovators. The rotovators. And he looks after the rotovators, so it's very handy for us and he's very, very proactive. Well, I finished what I'm going to do today. I've done all my seeds, and Beth and I think just come back. Have you, you finished everything? Yeah, you've, you've done? more or less. So have you happy. finished everything now? Yeah, you're happy yeah. with what you've done yeah, today? Yeah. What have you done? I've taken some chippings um, for a path. I've taken a wheelbarrow full of compost, spread it on top of cardboard. And I said, no, no dig method yet. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You use, isn't it? Um, mended a wheelbarrow. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sorted some seeds out. So good. So 
We're all ready now. Are we all had a good day, yes. It's starting so, to go dark. Already. Yeah, it's going it's dark now. Half past three. It's half past three, so we're finishing up and we're going home. And Bethan's taking me home because I can't go anywhere without her. <laughs> so, so she tied me up and keep me down here to work a bit longer, but I'm getting home, I can assure you. Yeah, get the whiff house. <laughs> all right. Cheers now. Bye. I hope you all enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.